I don't know if that means you like it or not. I got this was he actually put the mesh on the inside so that it's not dangerous. All right, so obviously this is a way bigger cage than what he has currently. He currently has the one from the pet store. It looks nice, but it's just not the correct size for a hamster. A hamster needs 450 square inches. This might be a little bit smaller, but a lot bigger than his actual cage. No, it was the biggest it was the biggest size that we found in the store and we live in Japan, so yeah. Come on. Bedding. Where's the food? This is the bedding, not food. He has new not food. He has new not food. He has new Oh, oh my goodness. It's like confetti. It's almost like a flower. But yeah. it's not cereal, it's just bedding. They need a lot of it. A lot of bedding. They recommend six inches. It's like, yeah. Uh, it's right almost like, stop touching. Glitter. Kids are so excited. I feel like glitter stuff. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, how's it? Alright, so we're gonna just go ahead. Art is going to love Art's it. Art is gonna love this. It feels like glitter, right? Yeah. So we're gonna put this there. It, it, it smells like. See, now, uh, so now Art can go down there and. Uh, what do you call it? Hide. Hide or something? Alright, next thing we need to add. Yeah. He needs more than that, babe. Yeah. For sure? Yeah, yeah, a little bit just more. Stop, 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 stop. We should use one whole bag. Yeah, one okay. whole bag. So we have one whole bag. Oh, what bag is $6. Alright, <laughs> so it's done. And we'll just put a little more on this side so you can go home. Got it? And then we add our sand to his little sand bath, sand bath dish. Hope he likes it. Is that his bath? Yeah, that's where he takes the bath up. But where's his food? We'll put it in. And we added a little Halloween decoration but here. His house? Uh, he likes it. Yeah. Oh yeah, maybe up there. They let him work for it. What's up? Yeah, we're going to let him work for it. His house is full under here. It's a little box. And we put his uh, bedding. Cute. Yeah, so he's hiding underneath that right now. Okay, so we Velcroed inside. Right here, I don't know if you guys can see that. And we have the other part. Mm -hmm. So we'll wrap it around. I would have stuck it down the middle, but. New bin cage looks like. He has a Halloween sign and a hideaway box down there. I've never actually seen him chew or use that box, but hopefully he'll use it in the new home. We went ahead and uh, put his his spin wheel in here as well, and then how we did that, my husband just cut a hole through the back, and we're currently using the same one so that we didn't have to buy the one that, that stands inside of the bedding. So I do like that idea better, and we tested it out. And it's pretty sturdy. And we put a hideaway box in there that will be used as his house. But sad, we can't see him anymore unless he comes out. If he uses that as a house or as his sleeping spot, he's going to be hidden all the time. But we can always move it. We put his food dish on top of his house. And then he has his water bottle, Velcro to the wall, and a sand bath. Oh yeah, and we're going to currently hang this little ball. Arch first dropped into his new Mommy. home. Or not, but your food is 
up here, but...